Hi, in this chapter we are taking a quick look at the various different languages and tool chains that support compilation to WebAssembly. So far we've seen how mscripten allows you to compile C and C++ applications to WebAssembly and allows you to make use of pre-existing APIs such as SDL, which are, make it an ideal candidate for migration of pre-existing C++ applications. We've looked at the WASMPAC toolchain for Rust, and also AssemblyScript, a new TypeScript-based language with a quite a lightweight a approach to WebAssembly. Finally, we're taking a look at Blazor, which is a Microsoft project. One thing of note here is that there are a couple of different Blazor versions. There's Blazor Server, which, as the name suggests, runs your code on the server side, and there's Blazor WebAssembly, which runs exactly the same applications entirely within the browser. Blazor allows you to write uh, web-based applications in C-sharp compiled to WebAssembly. However, it's much more than just a C-sharp to WebAssembly compiler. As you can see here on the screen, we've got a simple Blazor application. It has, for example, pages which make use of Razor templates. These are templates that allow you to mix um, HTML with uh, with C-sharp code. So for example, here's a counter application where we've got some DOM elements, but we've also got a button where the click event is wired up to an increment count um, uh, method in the code behind, for example. Uh, Razor also has, um, sorry, Blazor also has, for example, routing um, components and, and all manner of other, other tools from the entire .NET stack. So let's get this up and running in the browser so you can take a look. Now with the other, with the other um, tool chains, I ran a simple hello world, uh, sort of uh, created a simple hello world application. However, with with Blazor, that sort of application really isn't appropriate. It's 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 designed to be much more than a, a tool for creating these sort of simple applications. So this is the the standard Blazor demo application. As as you can see, it already says hello world for us. Now. I want to repeat the same experiment, uh, taking this Hello World application and creating something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complicated. The the Mandelbrot set uh, example that I showed you with the other languages. Now, again, this probably isn't the best use of Blazor, so that there are a number of caveats here. Firstly, a problem that I encountered is that. Blazor doesn't actually have APIs for accessing Canvas. So in contrast with Mscriptum, we use the SDL APIs. With Rust, we use the web syscrate to allow us to uh, manipulate the DOM directly. And with, a, with AssemblyScript, we just return to the, the uh, bitmap data to, to JavaScript. And we're going to do something similar here. So as I mentioned, th this, this approach will allow me to replicate the same functionality that I did with the other demos, but it's probably not the ideal demo for for blazer itself so as i said it lacks some of the apis that are required to access the canvas directly so what i'm doing here is adding a render method directly to to window that will allow me to pass a canvas width height and data uh, that will allow me to perform my rendering so i'll save that file and then what i'm going to do is add the C sharp code required to render the Mandelbrot. So this is again my Razor template. We've got the hello world greeting and this time I'm adding a canvas element and um, obtaining a reference to it in, in my C sharp code behind. Now here is all of the standard Mandelbrot rendering logic that you've seen in all of the other examples. Again minor tweaks because of the slight sort of syntactic differences in, in the languages themselves. And finally when when this component is initially rendered, I compute the Mandelbrot set, and then I invoke that render method that I added to uh, um, added to the DOM to allow me to pass the canvas element, the width, height, and the underlying data. So let's quit that and run it again. And if I go back to my browser and refresh it, you can see that it's rendering the Mandelbrot set. So this is demonstrating how I can write a Mandelbrot set in C Sharp and use Blazor to render it. As I mentioned, it's probably not the ideal demonstration of Blazor. Blazor, in contrast to Mscript and Rust and AssemblyScript, is, is very much a fully featured development environment that's designed to be a, a familiar environment for um, .NET developers. That, that's, that's, its, that's the main reason for, for Blazor to exist.